The new CAT M-Series small wheelers are packed with features to make your work easy. Let's have a look at some of those new features together. Come on in. Now when working in applications which are running at a constant RPM, such as continuous truck loading, or even roading this machine, the M-Series small wheelers feature throttle lock, which can be engaged through the soft touch buttons and adjusted through the secondary display. Come on in, let's have a look at how to make that setting and when that's an appropriate feature for your application. Now let's have a look at how to use that throttle lock feature. Now, you're running at a constant RPM. You can simply reach over, engage the throttle lock button. It will memorize and hold that engine speed. Now, if you want to make a fine adjustment to it, you can do a simple two second push and hold. Up will come the slider mechanism on the secondary display, and we can slowly tick up or tick down that maximum speed such that we match the machine performance to the application requirements. Now to disengage throttle lock, we've got two options. We can reach back over and simply turn the feature off through the soft touch button panel, or we can do a push and hold of the brake pedal all the way to the end and travel, and it will kill the throttle lock feature. Now here we are in a brooming environment where throttle lock is a very welcome feature to help me do my work. Now when I'm running this BA25 broom, I can lock my throttle at maximum RPM so I get all the hydraulic power that I need. Here when I'm running in standard mode, I can lock that throttle at a full 1600 revolutions per minute with the quick touch of a button. I can then take my foot off of the throttle and the machine will maintain that RPM helping me do my work. Now the intelligent high stat powertrain gives us independent control of engine speed with right foot and ground speed with left foot. Now when we combine that with throttle lock, we can take our engine speed all the way to maximum RPM. We can reach over and engage our throttle lock and then we can let our right foot rest. Now because we have that independent control, we can then bring our machine speed to a full complete stop without kicking out throttle lock. Now here in this example, I'm in range three. I've got my ground speed pedal pushed all the way to zero ground speed, and I'm gonna put it in gear. Now it's not gonna move until I modulate that left pedal control. So as I let my foot all the way off, the machine will go maximum relative to the ground speed. But as I use my left pedal control, notice that I can control my ground speed completely independent of engine speed given me excellent control of both wheel torque and ground speed to meet any application requirement. This is also a very welcome feature for roading environments. As you approach an intersection, as an example, you can use this ground speed control pedal to bring your speed to a nice controlled stop and navigate on through without having to kill your engine speed. Now let's put throttle lock to work for us here in application where we're using the M-Series small wheeler to amend two different colors of sand through a screener. Now throttle lock can be set anywhere from 1000 to 1800 RPM when you're running in performance mode or HP plus mode. Now you don't have to set that throttle lock at max RPM. I personally like to run it at about 1400 revs and when I need more power or more implement speed, I can simply use my right foot to push further through to that max setting. Now because we're also running in an intelligent high stat powertrain system, I can use my left foot to modulate my ground speed and let my right foot rest when I'm running at that 1400 revs. Let's see how to make that setting together and let's put the machine to work. Go ahead and use your right foot to increase your RPM to about 1400. We can do a push and we've engaged throttle lock and it's remembered it. Now if you want to do a push and hold on throttle lock, you can then fine tune that speed. So I'm going to go right at that 1400 speed. Now let's put this machine to work. I'm running in range two, torque converter mode. Now 
Now as I hit the pile, I can actually go to maximum speed up to 1600 revs. I'm running here in standard mode. Use my left foot to modulate my wheel torque. As I back away from the pile into forward, I can use my left ground speed control only to modulate as I approach the screen. With throttle lock engaged, I've got good implement speed. And I can slowly creep in to do a steady feed into the center line of the screener. A nice little shake to get any material that's, stung, huh? that's hung up in there out. Back to level bucket, into reverse, and I'm gonna back away from the screener. push it into float, it'll come down and catch itself. It'll snub when it gets there and I'm ready for the next pass. Now again, running at 1400 revs here, as I approach the pile, I can give max RPM for max speed while I'm digging. Into reverse and back out. Using just my left foot to modulate my ground speed control. into forward, pull my implements, nice controlled speed running at 1400 revs with throttle lock on, use my left pedal ground speed control to slowly creep into the screener, giving a nice steady feed with that engine RPM locked at 1400 revs. Now notice I can use my left ground speed control pedal to modulate my ground speed without kicking out throttle lock, allowing us to use throttle lock in everyday type applications to keep that engine running at a nice steady speed. Now 1400 also happens to be the torque band of the engine that's the highest and also the most fuel efficient. So letting the machine purr at 1400 throughout the day is a nice way to run the machine. As you can see, the intelligent high stat powertrain makes the throttle lock feature more than just cruise control on roading applications. You can use it in everyday environments with that independent control of engine speed and ground speed. You can lock your RPM anywhere from 1000 to 1800 RPM. You can use your left foot to modulate your ground speed. So set your RPM, keep your implement speeds high, modulate your ground speed with your left foot so that you're successful in a variety of different applications. Now you can see I like to run with throttle lock around 1400 revs and when I need more power, like the digging cycle, I just push that right pedal all the way to the floor to give me that full 1600 revs in standard mode or 1800 revs in performance mode. And when I let my foot back off the gas, it's gonna come back down to that 1400 RPM setting. This makes this machine truly efficiently powerful. With throttle lock properly set, the machine's gonna do the work for you, making your job easier. The M-Series small wheelers have been packed with features to help you and your business be successful. For more information, please contact your cat dealer. Now let's go to work.